I could have made two choices. I could push myself and just keep pushing and keep pushing and keep pushing, knowing that I'm pushing myself, knowing that my body is signaling me, knowing that my check engine light is not quite on, but she coming on. <laughs> Hey, my loves, it's Baina again, and I bring faith-based inspiration and encouragement along with pep talks to your neck of the woods. Um, today, I wanted to, t to chat with you about something that was really important. Um, as you can see, you are seeing my whole 52-year-old face. No makeup, no liner, mascara, nothing. Just my whole natural 52-year-old face, and I'm good with that. Um... This morning, I set out with an entire agenda and a list of things to do. And as a, a wife, a mom, an entrepreneur, an ambitious woman of God, I got goals. I got things to do. I had plans for this morning. But halfway through my little workout, which I call a little workout because I gave it uh, all of something. <laughs> I did. I did some workout, but I just, I couldn't get it together. It was something. And I feel like it started last night. I was tired, had a, um, a long weekend, just a good weekend, but a long weekend, full weekend. Um, <clears throat> and so I felt it last night. I thought I would sleep it off, feel better this morning. I don't feel ill or anything. I was just tired. And so I'm doing my best to get this workout in. I did a good portion of it before I was just like, you know what? And then I um, I kept trying to push myself because that's what we do as ambitious women. We push ourselves and we push and we can do and we almost, we, um, we don't give ourselves permission to be tired, especially on a Monday when we've had a weekend. But as an ambitious woman, I don't have much time off even on the weekends. My mind is constantly moving. I'm constantly thinking about what's next. I'm constantly um, just, you know, trying to stay present at home with the family while at the same time thinking about um, the next steps I have to take and what I need to do on Monday and setting, trying to start working on setting myself up for success on Monday and for the week by preparing it prior to the week. <clears throat> I couldn't get it together today. I couldn't get it together after my workout. I got in the shower. I thought that was gonna do it. I thought that's gonna wake me up, put a little pep in my step. Come on, girl, you got stuff to do. I got out of the shower. See, this ring light. Now you know what. I got out of the shower, y'all. Here we go. Um, I got out of the shower and I was still tired. <laughs> I wasn't woke. It didn't wake me up. And I had to make a decision and it was hard. I was like, I got so much to do. I have a whole laundry list of things to do. And then I thought but I'm tired. So what do I do? Do I give all the things that I need to do a little bit of me, not my best me? Or do I um, surrender to my spirit, which is telling me just rest? You know, and here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. I could have made two choices. I could push myself and just keep pushing and keep pushing and keep pushing, knowing that I'm pushing myself, knowing that my body is signaling me, knowing that my check engine light is not quite on, but she coming on um, and keep going anyway until I feel exhausted, I'm tired, I burn out, I fall out, or I could just surrender and Trust God for my schedule. Trust God for the things that need to be done. And rest. There's healing in rest. There's healing in rest. There's a reason why we need a certain amount of hours a night to be our best the next day. So when I jip myself out of what my body is asking for, then I can't be mad when it crashes and burns and that I'm hemmed up 
for the rest of the week, knowing that as an entrepreneur, I don't want to be hemmed up for the rest of the week. I just got stuff to do. Even if you're not an entrepreneur, you're a, you're a woman, an ambitious woman. You got stuff to do. I know it. <clears throat> so I stood there in that bathroom for a minute. <laughs> looking at my beautiful pajamas and thinking about what I'm going to miss, what's not going to get done if I don't get up now and just keep pushing myself. Now, the rest I'm talking about, now there are times when you feel sad and you feel down and you just got to, you guys got to get yourself together and come on and not let the enemy win. But this wasn't that. This was my body was tired. My mind was tired. So I made a decision I was going back to bed. It was, it was just about noon. I should have been halfway, not halfway through my list. I had gotten a few things done, but I should be out in these, in these streets. And I couldn't do it because I wanted to show up as my best self for the things that need to get done. Why give, excuse me, the things I need to get done, not my best self? Who does that? Who shows up halfway? I don't want to. So... I took the advice that I would give one of my girls if, or anybody who called me and they said they were tired and their body was tired. I took my own advice. I got my whole butt back in the bed. And I thought I would be there for the day. I thought that I would be there for the rest of the day. Like, I'm just going to veg. But you know what? I didn't need it. I woke up after about three hours of solid sleep without a alarm clock waking me up, without having to be up. Because that gives me a little angst. When I when I'm taking a nap, but I know I gotta be up by a certain time, a certain time it's not really a good nap for me. <laughs> I need the freedom of not having a deadline to sleep. Wake up when your body says we done, and that's what I did today. And when I woke up, I felt so much better. I felt so much better, and I was able to finish the race that God had set before me for the day. Being the best version of myself versus giving everybody and all of my tasks and chores a uh -uh version of myself. So rest when you have to is my message to you today. Rest when you have to. Listen to your body. Sit down before you get sat down because that's no fun. And know that whatever doesn't get done because you have to rest and prioritize your self-help, your mental health, self-health, mental health, um, spiritual health, what doesn't get done because you prioritized you, God will fill in the blanks. He always does. So instead of trusting in my ability today and trusting in my in myself and what I got to get done, and I trusted God. I trusted God. I made a decision this morning. I got back in the bed, and it was a good decision. And it was a good nap. So maybe you need some rest. Maybe you're cranky. Maybe you're tired. Maybe you're not the best version of yourself and you don't know why. Maybe you're just tired. Heal yourself. Take a nap. Remember we used to send our kids to sleep or remember when we were kids, we were cranky and our parents sent us to sleep? Let's go take a nap. What I would, what, what I would do for one of those naps today? Father God in heaven. <laughs> what I would do. So today I took one of those naps. And my mama was happy about it. I talked to her today and she said, good, take a nap. I did. And it was just what I needed and I feel good about it. So whoever needs to hear this, I'm giving you permission to take a nap. I'm not giving you permission to be a slacker because that's not who you are. But I am giving you permission to listen to your body, listen to your spirit. My spirit was not at, not at all comfortable with me getting up and pushing myself out here in this day because it's Monday and... No, my body said rest, and so I did. And I thank God for the rest that I got. So I wanted to encourage you, take a nap. You'll feel better. You'll come back refreshed and ready to finish the race that God has set before you. I love you. I'm proud of your push. And I'll chat with you soon.